Welcome. So let's imagine that we have two cells over here. So I've got one cell over here on the, on the left and another cell over here on the right. Let's say that this cell over here on the left is a cancer cell. So this is a cancer cell and the cell over here on the right is normal. So sometimes in cancers, uh, and, and we know that cancers normally are uh, a group of cells that rapidly divide and they just keep dividing and taking up nutrients and eventually they can break off and go to other parts of the body. So sometimes in order for the cancer cell to be able to do that, it needs to have certain genes that are either upregulated or other genes that are downregulated. So let's look at what happens when a gene is up or downregulated. So let's imagine that we're looking at a gene and we'll just call it gene A for now. So if we're gonna look for at gene A, what happens Let's just think about what happens when gene A is upregulated. When, well, when gene A is upregulated, so upregulated, then the gene will be transcribed and there will be lots of mRNA floating around inside the cell. So let's imagine that in the cancer cell that gene A is upregulated. And if it's upregulated, we've got lots and lots of gene A's mRNA floating around in the cell. And this is in comparison to normal levels of the mRNA from gene A. So maybe in a normal cell, there are only three or four mRNAs floating around. Now, let's say that we wanted to try and measure a bunch of different genes at the same time and see which ones are either upregulated or downregulated. And before we go on and do that, let's imagine another gene. So let's imagine that we're looking at gene B. Let's imagine that gene B is downregulated. Well, if gene B is downregulated, then there are going to be fewer gene B mRNAs floating around in the cancer cell. So maybe we can say that the gene B mRNAs are this, this purple color. So maybe there are just two, while in a normal cell there are a lot more gene B mRNAs. So let's say that I wanted to look at a bunch of genes, so A, B, C, D, blah, 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 and so on. And I wanted to immediately see which ones are up and down regulated in different cells. So in order to do that, we use a technology known as a microarray. And I'll write that down over here. So a microarray. And a microarray is basically a small chip, and it can be made out of silicon or glass. And this chip, and I'll, I'll just draw out a rectangle to represent this chip. This chip basically has a bunch of small holes all, all over it. So these holes are arranged in lines and there are just hundreds and hundreds of holes. And we can call these holes wells. I'll just write that down in a second. So this is a well. Now, what does each well represent? Well, each well basically represents a specific gene. Now, let's say that we have the gene A mRNA floating around in the cell. Well, if we put in a single well the complementary mRNA strand to gene A's mRNA, then when we add the mRNA to the well, it'll bind. And when it binds, we can attach a fluorescent marker that lets us see whether there's something bound to that well or not. So let's just say that this first well over here is the well for gene A. So what will happen if we break these cells apart, the cancer and the normal cell, and we add the mRNA for gene A to this well? And keep in mind that the mRNAs are labeled different colors. So in the cancer cell, the gene A mRNA is pink, and in the normal cell, the gene A mRNA is green. So if we add the mRNA to the well over here, the gene A well, then what will happen if the gene is normally expressed in both the cancer and the normal cell. So if it's normally expressed, then what you'll see is you'll see a pink fluorescent label, and you'll also see an equally intense green fluorescent label. And these two will basically be in the same well, so they'll actually be overlapping, and they'll actually fluoresce yellow. So the red and the green, they will fluoresce yellow. And so the computer, when it's scanning each one of these wells, it'll see a yellow well. And if it sees a yellow well, that means that there's an equal amount of red and there's an equal amount of green uh, fluorescence 
which indicates that there's an equal amount of mRNA in both the cancer and the normal cell. And that means that the gene that is regulating the mRNA is equally expressed in both cells. But what happens when we have upregulation? So if we have upregulation of a specific gene. So let's say that we have upregulation of, of gene A in the cancer cell. Well, if we have upregulation, then you're going to have a bright red fluorescent signal. And you're going to have a much smaller green fluorescent signal from the normal cell. And this makes sense because if you have a lot of the mRNA, because the gene A is upregulated, then you're going to have a much stronger signal and it's going to take over the normal background signal that's found in the normal cells. And so once again, since these two fluorescent signals are in the same well, they're going to overlap. And when they do overlap, it's going to basically be mainly a pink circle. And the computer is going to read that as a pink circle. And when the computer sees that, then it's able to determine that the cancer cell had a lot more mRNA than the normal cell for that specific gene. And we can assume that since that was the case, then the specific gene of interest was upregulated. And the opposite is true when a gene is downregulated. So when we have downregulation, then what we're gonna have is we're gonna have a lot more mRNA in the normal cell than in the cancer cell. So in this case, we're gonna have a very small, because now we're looking at gene B. And we said over here that gene B was this purple gene in the cancer cell. So we're gonna have just a little bit of fluorescence from the cancer cell. And I, I accidentally labeled the uh, gene B mRNA purple over here in the normal cell as well, but let's just imagine that's blue for now. In the normal cell, we're gonna have a lot more fluorescence. And when these two combine, they're gonna form a blue dot. And so in that case, the computer will see a blue dot rather than a purple dot, and it'll see that, which means that the, there's more mRNA in the normal cell than in the cancer cell, and we can assume that there was downregulation of the gene. And the nice thing about a microarray is that we can scan a bunch of genes at the same time uh, and have a computer read each and every single one of these wells, and we can look at exactly which genes are upregulated and which genes are downregulated. 